from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello there, I'm James Tunley. Greg D has a look at your weather coming up. Bit of a rainy day ahead, but first here are your ABC Action News headlines. The sentencing phase will begin today for the man convicted of killing a former Lakeland City Commissioner and her husband. Last week, a jury found Marcel Walden guilty of 10 felony counts, including two counts of first degree murder and the death of Edie and David Henderson. The couple was found dead inside their Lake Morton home in 2020. Prosecutors say after killing the couple, Walden stole their money, jewelry and a car. Walden is facing the death penalty. Well, we're learning more about the victim who died when a plane crashed into a Clearwater mobile home Thursday night. The niece of 54 year old Mary Ellen Pender shared these pictures with us, saying that her aunt was more like her best friend. Pender was visiting her friend Martha Perry, who also died in the crash. Perry's daughter shared these pictures. The family tells us Perry was a seasonal resident from New York with three children and 11 grandchildren and one great grandchild. The pilot, Jamin Patel, was also killed. Coming up at the top of the hour, our Keely McCormick will have the latest on the investigation into that crash. You can see her story on ABCActionNews.com. Dozens of people came together to revitalize and preserve homes in this East Tampa community. And if your home could use a little extra love, too, there are more opportunities to get help like this. It's all part of Habitat for Humanity's second annual Rock the Block event. More than 50 homeowners, volunteers, and community partners worked on homes Friday. They did four upgrades and hope to do 16 total by the middle of this summer. If you're interested in upgrading your home, you have to apply and you can do that on the website habitathillsboro.org. The Feast Food Pantry in Palm Harbor is holding a groundbreaking ceremony today for its new building. The expanded 3,000 square foot building will be able to serve even more families while also providing them with a safe place to get meals. The pantry provides families with healthy foods like eggs, milk, produce and meat five days a week. And funding is provided through partnerships with Feeding Tampa Bay and the St. Pete Free Clinic. The Feast Food Pantry has been helping families in need since 1989. And if you still haven't seen one of the biggest movies of 2023, you have your chance to do it. It won't cost you anything. Sparkman Wharf is showing a screening of Barbie, part of their Movie on the Lawn series. The screening will be one week from today on February 12th, and it starts at 6.30 p.m. Well, if you don't have Valentine's Day plans yet, Greg, there you go. Oh, not a bad idea. That's a great place to go. Absolutely. Hopefully the weather will be a little better than what we're seeing out there today. Unfortunately, rain already falling throughout much of the morning and midday. We'll continue to see some scattered shower activity into the middle of the afternoon. But as we head into the evening, a lot of the showers breaking up and starting to move away. Take a look at the hour by hour rain planner. Notice the highest rain chances were midday. The rest of the afternoon, yes, and random pop up showers possible. But as you get later into the evening, the chances for those continue to drop. I'm seeing a lot of sunshine in the seven day forecast and a nice warm up as we head into the weekend. Details on that forecast available on my Facebook page. James and remember to get your news 24 seven on ABC Action News Plus. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV and Apple TV.